Thank you all for, for coming today. I know there's a lot of things that are going on and we're trying to get this information out to put some of, some of the questions at ease that are, that are going on out there on social media. At approximately 3.32 today, um, our alarm office received a structure fire call uh, at the area of 810 Houston Street at the Sam Ann Hotel here in downtown Fort Worth. Quickly after that, we got multiple calls that were coming in that there was a type of explosion. And, and I want to make sure that when I say explosion, we, we've got a lot of things that are going on on social media right now that are getting a lot of people concerned. There, there is a smell of gas in the area, and, and there were windows and things that were blown outside of the structure. So right now, through our investigation, it looks like it is more of a some type of gas leak. We, we have not confirmed that yet at this time, uh, but I do want to make sure that everybody knows there's a, there's a smell of gas here in downtown. Um, we're not sure if the gas, from, if the smell of gas was caused from the explosion of the fire itself or if that's what caused the explosion, but that's, that's what we're looking at right now um, at this point in time. Um, within that, we did change this to also a, what we call a mass, mass casualty incident meaning we've got multiple patients. Uh, we have the AMBUS down here. We've got our MCI trailers down here just to make sure that we can take care of, depending on how many patients we do have at this time. I'm being told we've got 11 patients that have been transported to local hospitals at this point in time. The incident itself has went to a second alarm. Uh, and we do have Arlington backing up here in downtown just for, for an added resource if need be. We've got a family assistance center for those that are trying to figure out if they've got loved ones that were involved in this case. It is set up at lot 15 at the Sundance Square parking lot at 200 Fifth Street. Again, that family assistance center is set up at 200 Fifth Street here in downtown at the Sundance Square parking lot. And we do all, we also have our emergency uh, office set up and, and ready to go to help out with resources that need be. I'll open up for a few questions at this point in time. Can you confirm any partially hurt parts on the radio about partially collapsed? I can't confirm any of that at this point in time. We were getting reports that it had started in the restaurant. We do know that there was some construction that was being done down at the restaurant, but we're, we're not 100% sure that that's where it actually started at this point in time. Do you know if the 11 people injured were from the hotel, from inside the hotel? Uh, we don't have that information at this time. What do you know about the extent of any injuries? You want to talk about the injuries? Sure. <clears throat> so we've actually assessed 11 patients so far. One was critical. Two had serious injuries. The rest had minor injuries. Nine of those patients so far have been transported to area hospitals. We've had a total of nine ambulances, and as Craig said, our AMBUS is here as well. There's a couple years ago, there was a, a, same, an eat, a leak in the same area. Do you think this is possibly the age of downtown, the pipes and everything could have possibly led to something like this? We, we don't have any confirmation or, or any intuition on that part right now. Is there any, do you believe you all have everybody out of the building? We are still doing searches throughout the building. Um, at this point in time, I can't tell you that we have done a complete search. It, it's a multi-story structure, and I want to make sure that I'm giving you accurate information as we go through that. But I can tell you that we are going doing a search and rescue throughout the entire building at this time. And are there any concerns about structural integrity at this point? At, at this point in time, our people are going in there trying to make sure that we've got everybody out. Um, and then we'll talk about the structural integrity you know, after that. But we're just trying to make sure that when we walk out of that building, we, we can definitively say that we've got everybody removed from that structure. How many block radius was evacuated after the, the original center? I'm not sure at that time as far as the radius evacuated. Do you know how long the area is going to be evacuated? I, I can't give you a time on it. I can say it's, it's going to be quite some time that we've got some stuff shut down until we can do our preliminary investigation and give you some more answers to those questions in the future. We are going to try to provide an update around every 15 minutes, even if it's just we don't have anything further at this point in time, but to try to keep you updated with, with the, the best uh, information that we have as, as quickly as possible. Is Atmos on scene and what is their role right now? Atmos is on scene right now. They are trying to help us with turning off different gas and stuff throughout the building and, and, and the surrounding area. 
keep in mind also the fire department has the uh, their media portal so a lot of the info is going to come either their social media or the media portal on the fd side so we're not going to be doing 15 minutes every 15 minutes here in this spot. well it, until you know, as far as right now goes, we will just to have everybody together in one place. And then from there, if it gets to the point to where it's going to be drug out further, we'll make that determination and let everybody know the locations and stuff at that point in time. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Craig Trogic, C-R-A-I-G. Last name is T-R-O-J-A-C-E-K. And I'm the public information officer for the Fort Worth Fire Department. Sure. One of the biggest things on the police presence is to set the perimeter. We want to allow Fort Worth Fire to go in there and not just see what the issue is, but make sure we save everybody and we get everybody accounted for. Uh, in order to do that, everybody wants to come to the scene and see what's going on. So police have been out here shutting off numerous blocks. We did about a two block radius immediately. And as we see the need, we're going to shift those or move those around. So I can't tell you exactly where we are, but it will release a two block radius and that'll move as necessary. Uh, we again ask everybody that's listening and watching. Please watch from your televisions. Uh, we're trying to keep this area just as safe as we possibly can. We see air one circling in heaven for a little bit. Is that to kind of help keep the airplanes closed just in case something happens? You know, when something happens in the heart of Fort Worth, we ask assistance from every unit and everybody. So you'll see different units that may not belong, like a gang unit. They're here to help. Uh, these are our citizens. These are our partners. And we want to bring every resource that we have to help them. Anybody else? Uh, as far as missing, uh, Craig, can, I think uh, I'll let Craig answer that. They're asking if anybody's still missing. So the, the last I'd heard, we, like I said, we were still doing a, a search of, of the building. At that point in time, we did talk to the hotel owner, and he sounded like there was one person that had st still was looking to be accounted for. I'm not sure. That, that's been a little bit ago. I'm not sure. We'll have the, a, a better answer for that at our next update. Uh, but, but the last I heard, we still had one person that was unaccounted for at this time. Do you have an employer? Do you have I, I, no, I'm not sure at this time. I don't have the answer to that question right now either. I'm sorry. How many injured? Uh, eleven. We have, we have eleven patients total. Eleven patients. Nine oh. transport. Oh, sorry. Nine, nine transport. I'll take it. One critical, two serious. The rest of minor injuries. And the two that didn't go to the hospital are just addressed on scene. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh,